Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Minecraft Story Mode. Let's see where we just landed. Uh, damn. Hi. Oh, it's wet. And dark. Okay. Not what I was expecting. And safe, apparently. Or maybe not. Hey, you wanna fight, bro? You wanna fight? Huh? Come here. Boo. You want some? Come. Oh, no. No, I'm too scared. Uh, I'm too scared. No, no, no. Okay, I, I stop. Okay. Boo. There you go. Oh, man. That was close. Nice stone sword. I love it. I hope I get a better one sooner. There was a zombie. Yes, there was. Oh. Is it dead? I mean, you know, dead, dead. Yeah, we yeah. got it, Axel. That was a bad joke. Where are we? In the dark. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Maybe we should bed down for the night. That's a good description. It's to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said. No, Ivor said. Well, then maybe this is the temple. I'm being sarcastic. Axel, stop! It must on. be somewhere here. We are attack easy to vulnerable. We have to build a shelter. I thought that was what I said, but uh, <laughs> you're right. We yeah. Hurry. I say we build a treehouse. Lucas, nobody gives a shit about your opinion. While we do it, we just need a quick and dirty help. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? What? Treehouse or hut? We won't know what's coming until treehouse. Obviously. Treehouse. Yeah, of course. It'll keep us out of danger. It's not a bad idea. All right, fine. Let's get started then. Tree a treehouse is unbelievably. Useful, especially at night, but still, it's very hard to build. It's not a good alternative. Let's go. You made it really fancy, seriously. I wake up with a spider on my face. I'm gonna expect you to deal with it. Lower your expectations, Axel. Well, maybe if we'd built into the tree a little bit more, it could have. No, it's this is fine. It's good. Looks good, guys. Hmm. Whatever. Whatever. It's good how it is. I guess. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. Oh, nice. One for me, one for Olivia, one for Jessica. Thanks, Axel. Yay! And one for Ruben. And Lucas gets nothing? Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Yeah, of oh, course. No, it's it's all right. Give him, keep it. I'll just grab something in the morning. Or no. Something. No. All right, now let's go. Like really much with, with many cliches here. Let's go. Take it, Lucas. The friendly way. <laughs> no, no, I, I can't do that. You take it now. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. There we go. That was for you, Jesse, not him. Shut up, Axel. You're just a douche. You're not. You're. You're like extremely prejudiced against Lucas. He's a nice guy. And helpful. And friendly. And there's a big thing in the background. If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken sized zombies or ten zombie sized chickens? <laughs> Good one. Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. Oh, come on Save now. Yourself. No jokes anymore. No. Petra would like yeah. it. Stay positive. Petra would like Petra it. Petra wouldn't mind at all. She'd want us to keep our spirits up. Yeah. Whatever. I, I don't know. It feels wrong. Oh, God. Fine. Then, uh, we should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split Whoa, up. what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I really like to Lucas know. is trying to help. We get another decision at the morning. Let's. We'll figure it out. Yeah, in the morning. Maybe you're right. I'm... 
I'm pretty exhausted. Jesse means us, not you. Axel, we'll figure it out in the morning. And the last one was who gave you the commando? Jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take that back. Oh yeah. shit. Wouldn't. Oh man. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up. Let's keep calm. Luca, stop. Axel, stop. Let's all keep calm, alright? Just drop it. Don't be like that, Jesse. Just drop it. Yeah, please. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Oh, come <laughs> on. Dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. Yeah, seriously. Take this. Listen. Why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. No. It's dangerous out there. Yeah. I take care of myself. Leave, stay. Wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to. Leave. Do you stay? You know what? We're not going anywhere. Yeah. Jesse. That's enough. We're all on the same team now. He's staying. Yeah. Axel, just because you are the douchier doesn't mean that we are. Zombie-sized chickens. That's what I would fight. Yeah. Why is that? Because I'm starving. Didn't you just say you don't ha are you're not hungry? Of course. Aw, oh, dang. Rain is better than monsters. Thanks for keeping me around, Jesse. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm tired. I'm seriously, I'm tired. This whole, this is a, this is a messed up thing here with these guys and Axel and Lucas and I'm not, that's uh, just, no. And the Wither Storm, how are we supposed to save the world? How? Just how? Hmm. Whatever. You whatever. You douche. You better back off. He will get over it. The whole thing is, I'm sorry for all the whole thing. Everything alright? You doing okay? It was a rough night. It happens. We were all tired, and I'm just glad you're okay. Thanks for being so cool about it. Cool beans. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's me. Hey, there's something over that way. What yeah. Is it? Some kind of building, I think. No, I you don't say. Like it's a gigantic temple in the nowhere, and you're like, oh, some sort of building. Ugh. Okay, let's get up. The vines. Yeah, that's it. I think we're here. What are we waiting for? We should be careful. That's it. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Yeah. Let's go. See? See? See what I'm talking about? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's what we're trying to figure out. We're going through it's the, the badass way. The order of the stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's no. go in and find out. They're not in there. I mean the temple Let's looks abandoned. It's more like a ruin. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Oh, is that weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. You should maybe draw your sword just in case. I mean, it didn't. It just sounded like there was a spider in here. Oh, fine, whatever. Don't listen to me. I'm just a bystander here. <laughs> no! Oh, come on! How could you not see that? It's probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, Spencer Faces. I thought we were friends. Run! How did you not see the pressure plates? I mean, seriously, every Minecrafter knows if there's a pressure plate, don't step on it, damn it! Ah. We're trapped! Ah, oh, crap. We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and 
a piece of string. Oh. I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Let's see. I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. It is gonna be obvious we're doing. You know what we're doing? We're gonna do a fishing rod. No, I mean I could make a fishing rod, but you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I mean a bow is much more valuable, especially in fights, and I have m much more use of a bow in fights than 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 a fishing rod. I mean I could use a fishing rod against gas. That's at least something, and that's actually a thing. If you go with the fishing rod, you fight a gas later in the Never. Yeah, I spoiled it. We're going into the Never again. Yeah, you know it. You know it. And I could use the uh, uh, fishing rod, but I think a bow is much more valuable for it. Let's do this. For creepers or other enemies that might come, come by and say, "Oh, I'm a douche. I want to. You know what? I'm dangerous." And I'm like, "Oh no, I got a bow. Who's the, who's the charge here, huh?" The Nether maniacs, luck is changing. Finally. If you consider a giant river monster as lucky, well, good for you. <laughs> this must be their enchantment room. You don't say. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Except there are less potions in here. We could have grabbed some of them. Whatever. Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. Tell me. There is a lot of history in this room. That is interesting. What is that? The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members. members, five friends. Wait, five? Together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. Oh, of course. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone. Wasn't it already said earlier? The never mentioned him. Ivor was a part. It explains much. Gabriel didn't say anything. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied to us. <laughs> They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? Man, I can't believe you punched a member of the Order of the Stone. This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Yeah. Where do these stairs go? Mm-hmm. Upwards, only one way to find out, hopefully to safety. Only one way to find only out. One way to find out. That was a lame question. Where do these stairs go? Well, what would you guess? Where do sca oh, stairs basically cool. go? Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. It f this fell apart. Where they met. So nice where map. Are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Go on ahead. Yeah, working successfully. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. Shut up. There's got to be something missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. I mean, it basically was said already that Ivor is a part, and he seems to be some kind of brewmaster. If I if I would just go out from the banners that I just saw here in the corner, you can't see them right now. And I mean, it was it just was already said again. I mean, and when Ivor met Gabriel, he basically already said that, oh my God, Ivor is a part of the order. Whatever. Axel. I was just trying to figure out what Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. Yeah, calm down. We're gonna do it. Seriously now. Okay, let's look at the map. It's a map of the entire world. Well, that's a small word. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. If I would have made this world, I would definitely delete it again and get another seat. I mean, seriously, this is a damn small world. 
Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the order. You don't say. And does it mention how? It's less technical and more historical. Mm, I knew it. You're useless. Damn it. Hey, Ruben. Find any clues? Oh, come on. By the way, if I would have sent uh, Lucas away in the night, he would have ca came back in the morning. We're in the temple of the Order of the Stone. The Order's actual temple. Yay! Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, pretty insane. Yeah, a bunch of Minecraft noobs. Out the other side in one piece. Bunch of ni Minecraft noobs just coming here, getting to this location. That is a weird thought. Hmm. It's the same as the amulet. Maybe the amulet goes there. Yeah, it does. Let me, let me, let me do. Let me. There you go. But something is still missing. So the map is connected to this. Wait a second. Let me, let me, let me, let me. You might can see it. Uh, no, you can't. Okay. Okay, let's see. It's a lever puzzle. Again. Don't you worry, I already know the solution. And this one. Easy! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Too easy. Like two boss. Ooh, awesome. Amazing. How did they build this? Okay. That is no. what Gabriel wanted to show us. It must be some sign of tracking system. Why? What are the colors for? This is what Gabriel wanted us to find. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Yay! Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Nothing. Basically nothing. We gotta find Petra. We gotta stop Iwa. He... It will tell. It want to, wants to tell us something. Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. Something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. Reassemble it. There are only two whites. There are only two members of the Order left. He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus or Eligard. Let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. What? No! Here. No! If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. Okay, you might be right. She's still out there. What is if you? What is if you're wrong? You gotta stay. We need you. You gotta stay. Just stay safe, okay? If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. Yeah. Do it! This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance of fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. No! Finding Magnus? Do you really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. Yeah. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Lizzie. Obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I would say, guys, comment on what should I do. But I'm not gonna do it, because I'm going to play this, okay? I mean, it basically, you know, I would say, but and another thing, nobody's watching this, so uh, not many people are watching this, and not many people are probably commenting, so I'm just gonna progress anyway. And I'm gonna choose Eligard, because... I'm a real redstone fan. I like, I love redstone. I mean, I'm a real redstone geek. I just can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. But it's like it's like the best thing in Minecraft, redstone mechanics, and I really love it. So I'm gonna go find Eligard. Yeah. What? That guy? I'm right here. Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Redstone is All the right. best in the world. 
Petra. Yeah. I'll take it. Oh, what's that? Guys? That isn't good. Oh my god! Is it eating up the sun? Please hurry. No, I think it's covering the sun because it's so gigantic already. Next time, for that's what we're gonna see in the next episode. Jesse and Olivia return to the Nether, intent on finding Eligard, the Redstone Engineer, and find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, Redstone rarity, amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. Mm. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out. Yeah, our intrepid hero. Yeah, we're running out of time. Did you send Ruben away or keep kept him? I uh, I'm gonna you know. Did you save Lucas or get, get got Gabriel? Did you save Gabriel or Petra? Did you did you stop Lucas from going or not? <laughs> What, when did you, did you go for Eligard or Magnus? So I, me and sixty-three percent of the players kept Ruben. Thirty-eight percent and me of uh, me and thirty-eight percent of the player got Lucas and saved him. Fifty-one per uh, point three person got Petra out. Eighty percent, almost eighty percent kept Lucas with us and almost 50 per, uh, f 54% got Eligard instead of Magnus. That's actually quite balanced, I'm surprised. I mean like, you know, getting Petra or Gabriel, that is actually really extremely balanced or getting Eligard or Magnus, it's still, I'm, I'm, it's, uh, I'm surprised. But that, that is a really obvious choice here, if getting Lucas or st getting him to stay to leave. I mean, that's really obvious. Why should you send him away? I mean, he seems to be like our helping hand. And you, there's still people who will, are like, "Oh, shut up! I'm gonna send him away anyway." And uh, many people kept Ruben. I'm not sure what would be the better choice. I think it's I think it's better to keep him. I, I wasn't so sure if I did that. So yeah, we're gonna continue on with episode two. Don't you worry. This is not the end of the game. So we're gonna continue on in the next episode with. Like Minecraft Story Mode Episode 2, we're gonna get Eligard and save the world. Um, no, we're not gonna save the world immediately. There's a third and fourth and fifth episode, so don't you worry, that's not the end, there's more. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode again. Goodbye!